It's a regular school day, but for many students at Junction Avenue K-8 school in Livermore, it's far from typical. Normally, I would like be doing a test or, you know, my work, math, but I think today is like extra special. Today, second and fourth graders are working as a team on the last batch of coffee sleeves they're planning to deliver, all of them with special messages. I put your outfit slays because I want them to think that their outfit looks really nice. How do you think this is going to make somebody feel? Um, I hope that it makes them feel happy. Eight-year-old Levi knew exactly what he wanted to say, but he just needed a little bit of help. Is this how you supposed to think? Yep, it's perfect. A. You end up writing. Uh, always think positive, and then I drew a little bit of grass, and then a heart with arms, legs, eyes, a mouth, and holding a coffee mug. Who do you hope gets this? Uh, a little kid. A little kid like you? Yeah. A little kid who drinks coffee? Uh, no, not coffee. <laughs> Maybe Gatorade. <laughs> Maybe Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone can pick a coffee sleeve. One behind this idea is her counselor, Jordan Key. She called the local coffee shop, Panama Bay, and asked if they would let her take hundreds of coffee sleeves for her students to write kind messages on them. And that turned into something even bigger. I'm very happy. I did not expect this to like blow up like this. And then Steve uh, Welty got back to me and he was like, I love this. We need to redo our coffee sleeves. This is so cool. Today, they're delivering a thousand coffee sleeves. This is her contribution to the nationwide Great Kindness Challenge Initiative. Over here are all the bags of all the messages that have been written. It's really, I think it's really nice that people um, support one another, even if they don't know what they look like. And after so much work, I was curious. So raise your hand and tell me something nice that someone has said to you. Go for it. I like your hair. I like your hair. I do like your hair too. So how did it make you guys feel when someone said something special, something nice to you? Awesome. 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 I, I want to hear it. I can hear it. I thought awesome. Thought it was awesome. Well, are you ready to spread kindness? Yeah. Let's go. It was time for their delivery. We followed them to their drop-off location, Panama Bay Coffee. I think it's super cool that a bunch of people get to have a coffee sleeve that we made. One of those customers was John. They're right here. Thank you, kids. Nice messages. And outside, also another important meetup. The owner of Panama Bay meeting Miss Key in person. You finally met Jordan. <laughs> yes, just now. Right. She's changed her life with uh, coming to us. I have to give credit to the staff. Turns out these coffee sleeves will be sent out to all Panama Bay locations. And now other schools also want to be part of it. Really hope that it will make somebody's day a lot better. Spreading kindness, one coffee sleeve at a time. In Livermore, Luz Pena, ABC7 News. That's sweet. Yeah, it just brings a smile to your face. Yeah.